Watch my homies, DJ80 here. And today I'm doing a review of a new moving head, uh, which I've discovered online via a newsletter. Um, I bought it from Prebeat, which is a DJ shop based in Hartlepool in the UK. And the moving head is called a Mac Mar UFO LZR uh, lighting effect. So um, it's something a bit different to the norm. And um, you can see a picture of it here. So let's open up the box and see what we've got. So here's the box that it was delivered in. I've actually ordered a pair um, and I ordered them on Monday night and they came on Wednesday midday. So this is what's inside the first box. Um, I, I believe these are made in France. So um, two three pin plugs have been added. And because I brought a pair, um, they also throw in a DMX cable for free. That's uh, three meters long. Got the boxes. And this is what we get inside each one. So we get a manual. You get um, a two pin European plug. You get a mounting bracket. And you also get uh, two little screws. They're Allen key screws for the mounting bracket. And the product is brand new as well. Just had a quick look through the manual. It's in multi languages. And I'll just give you, show you this screenshot here. Um, because the advert for these on the shop um, says it's six 10 watt LEDs, but it doesn't show you what the LED power is for the center lights. And it does say on here, um, they're all 10 watt LEDs um, and the laser is 50 milliwatt. It's a class three laser. Uh, total weight for it is fraction over four kilos. And um, yeah, it's drawing 150 watts. So um, I believe those figures to be accurate. So um, there's, there's not a lot in here. It does give you some information about lasers and you know uh, maintaining the product. Don't get it wet um, and um, don't operate it above 40 degrees as well. So moving on to the product itself. So it has 10 lights in total. It has six around the sides and these are moving heads. They move 180 degrees each way. And then on top, you've got four four more 10 watt LEDs uh, that all light up. And then just here, I think we've got two lasers. If we look underneath, you have your standard little digital uh, input there. So you can manually uh, set it to how you want. And then at the other side, we have your IEC connector and we have DMX uh, in and out. And it also has brackets on the side here for mounting. So it has those on both sides. There. And then the bracket that you get with it, which is this little one, goes, goes on there like that. And it looks as if it has fan cooling too. We'll find out when I plug it in in a moment. So, I think that's the next job. Let's plug them in and see what they look like. Just to give you an idea of the size of them, I've put a couple of battery uplighters next to them. So you can see it's not a massive unit. Um, it's quite nicely compact. Right, so I've put the brackets on. Uh, this one was a little fiddly because the holes were just slightly out of line. Um, to do that, you will need an Allen key, which isn't supplied. So make sure you've got a little Allen key set. Uh, because of the tops on those screws. And now what I plan to do is use these adjustable O-clamps um, and I'm gonna mount them on a lighting bar. Oh, here's a quick uh, time-saving tip. Put the clamps on the bracket before you put the brackets on the light. Ah, FML. Okay, my clamps are on and I'm ready to stick them on a lighting bar. So I've mounted them on just to a lighting T-bar here. Um, the power leads that you get are just over 1.8 meters long, so about six feet. And um, this one isn't even touching the floor yet. And I've only got the lighting bar on the first uh, hole as well. I, I could probably get around this by just adjusting the clamp because the power input for this one's here. And uh, if I just, adjusted the clamp and had the power input here. I could then run the power lead to here. 
are down to the floor. So uh, they're all clamped up. That's one. And there's my other one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the lights out and I'll put one on to start off with. And then we'll see what it's like with two. So I've just put it in auto show mode one. Um, I've got no music playing, but you can, I don't know if you can just hear that. It's very quiet. Now I've heard a lot, a lot more noisy moving heads than that. Right, and this is what it looks like. Yeah. The lasers look quite good when uh, when the rest of the lighting dims out like that. It's quite nice. Woohoo! Let me show you what it looks like from this side. actually quite bright I'm not looking at it straight on but those center lights um, they're, they're really quite bright right, let's try to right fairly easy to pair together I've got this one on the show mode and all I've done is I've run the DMX cable from here out and just put it into in over here and i've set this one to dmx a001 and now it's copying the other one Whoop. Let's have a quick look. this is what it looks like from here and they are bright I'll show you. <laughs> Those four LEDs in the center of each one in particular are incredibly bright. Obviously I know they're all the same wattage. But I think it's just as they're so close together. Right, so this is what it looks like indoors. Let's see what it looks like uh, somewhere else. Something I have just noticed is inside this one on the right, there's something rattling around. Can you hear that? Oh, I don't know what that is. The light's working fully. It could be a little bit plastic. It, it could literally be anything. But the light is all working and the laser's working as well. All right, so I'm at my local venue who have very kindly uh, let me set up tonight on a, on a weekday night. So I was here for New Year's Eve and I do lots of gigs here. So the capacity is about 120 people. Uh, and that wooden area there, that's normally the dance floor. And I normally set up over this end here so uh, we'll try them with the lights on and then we'll try them with the lights out. Well, perhaps if I plug them in, didn't it? Two. Okay, so they just... Once again, I've got them on show mode one. Towards that wall there, and this is what it looks like in the distance. <coughs> you can see they're they're reaching all the way up to the ceiling as well. So that's 
So let's just try it with the lights off. Okay, so that's the throw. It's covering quite nice, isn't it? In fact, you can see they're going all over the roof as well. And then from the client's point of view, this is what they look like if you're a guest. So even now, those ones in the middle, they're, they're still quite bright. You know, they catch your eye. You can't look at them directly. Do you like them, Max? What do you think of them? Are they all right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So these are real life uh, clients here at the venue who are just having a quiet pint until I came and rocked up. They're expecting a disco now. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty good. So this hall, as I say, is 120 capacity and that's more than filling the hall there on both sides. So pretty good. So I'm going great guns today. I'm getting this whole review done, wrapped up in one day. So let's jump to the conclusion then for these uh, mega UFO LZR MACMAR moving heads, um, if you like. Um, by the way, I did Google MACMAR and did um, a Google Translate to see if it meant something else, but no, it means MACMAR. So I'll start off with the cons. And uh, let's see, I'll just do them as I listed them. All right, so the first con is these, um, because it has so many of these little moving heads, you're just gonna have to be really careful when you transport them. I have got quite a big padded bag um, that I've used, um, so I'm gonna try and fit them in that. But yeah, they're not something that you can just sort of chuck in the truck and then go to your gig with. So just be careful with that, because each one has six of these and they're, they're quite fragile. Um, they can't be powered daisy chains, so you can't link them with power cables um, and just run one power cable to the floor. So they don't have that option on them. Because of their design, I did find them a little awkward to mount on the lighting pole. I think that will change over time as I mount them more and more. But you kind of have to hold it here and then put the clamp around the pole. Uh, also, uh, MACMAR, I've never heard of them before. They're from France. Um, you might have heard of them. They might be a really well-known brand. But for me at the moment, um, I don't know long-term quality-wise how these are going to pan out but they would have met uh, european standards so you have to assume they will be the same as any other light that you would buy from a shop one of the guys that was in the hall when i did that demo in the hall just now um, his feedback was it was a bit hectic <coughs> and obviously he doesn't see disco lights all the time like we do um, but i think he might have a point so there was a lot of lighting going on all over the place um, which is the effect that I want um, certainly for some of my discos but it's it's not going to be suitable for all events so for instance in a couple of months time I'm booked for a 90th birthday so I won't be using these um, I'll probably just use some wash lighting but on the other side of the coin I do an awful lot of schools and these will be fantastic the kids will love them but I, I think just bear in mind the type of events that you do, um, whether that kind of fast moving all over the place lighting would be suitable. And then the last uh, con for these lights, which is not unique to these by any means, is the short power leads. Um, so you saw, and I only had that lighting bar on the first uh, notch um, and the power cable wasn't long enough, uh, but so much lighting that you buy these days doesn't come with a long power lead. Um, it's just one of those things. So you probably will have to buy extensions for the IEC leads. 
but that's all the cons. Um, the only other con is um, I haven't actually used them in a gig for a few hours, um, so I, I can't tell you um, whether they're going to last for a few hours, but I have no reason to think that they won't. So uh, let's move on to the pros then. On to the pros then, and I won't lie, I've got quite a lot of positives to say about these lights. Um, I am really impressed with them. Okay, so the first thing I'll say is that the nearest type of light to these is the Showtech Elf, uh, which doesn't have the LEDs in the middle, but it does have these outer ones. Um, and it has six 8 watt LEDs. And another one is the Chauvet Helicopter, which has just six of these around the edge. Um, and they're 7 watt LEDs. And I've actually owned the helicopters. Um, and I think there's a review on my channel of them as well. I owned them a few years ago. Um, I didn't keep them for long. Um, so <clears throat> one of the positives is this obviously has uh, 10 in total, 10 watt LEDs. So these are all 10s and there's four 10s in the middle there. Um, giving you 100 watts of LED lighting power, which is, well, you saw it for yourself. It's pretty effective. Um, another positive is they're lightweight. So they're not huge, they're not bulky, and they're not heavy, which, you know, the year is 2023, and that's the way things should be. Lightweight, compact, and powerful. Um, they're also really quiet. Um, I was expecting perhaps to make a bit more noise, so I could have ambient music on in the background with these working, um, and you won't hear them, and you certainly won't hear them um, when, when you reach your normal volume for play out. Um, I like the laser effect on these. I especially like it when the lights black out and just the lasers are on it. And what I like about this particular laser is it's simple. It's just dots, just some laser dots. All the lights black out, the room blacks out, and then you've just got this sort of, sort of space scene of laser dots. Um, I really like that. They don't try too hard. They haven't tried to put shapes in and stars and uh, anything else. It's just dots, but it's, it's just a nice effect when the room blacks out. They have a big throw, uh, even without smoke, and uh, that venue that I was just in, I can't use smoke there. Um, and most of the venues I go to, I can't use smoke either. Um, but I have seen videos of these in, in action with smoke, but there was no scope to see how big the room was. Um, but the beams on them look amazing with smoke. So if you're looking at buying these and you can go to venues that allow you to use smoke or haze, um, I think you'll just be wowed by them. What else? I think you can also use one of these as a centerpiece. So I've brought two, um, and I'll probably just use two of these on their own at certain gigs. Uh, but I think you could use one of these as a centerpiece light, maybe with a couple of washes on either side, um, or something similar, maybe a couple of derbies. Um, da -da 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 -da. They can be DMX. I don't know much about DMXing. Um, I don't claim to, but it does say on the box that they have uh, 22 channels. So I don't know if that's a lot of channels for DMXing or if that's not many. Um, but of course, if you're into DMXing, then you'll know, um, you know, whether that is a lot. What else? Do, 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 do. They have two mounting options. So I use the brackets for clamps, but they also have these mounting clamps on each side as well. So if you want to do a permanent install, install, um, you can use those, which is quite nice. And I think that's about it. Uh, the only other positive I will say um, is that they're £250 each. So you're buying them from a shop in the UK. You haven't got to pay, you know, DHL import charges or any extra fees. They're £250 each. And you're getting an awful lot of lighting uh, for £250. If I think the nearest comparison I can make is I keep thinking about the Equinox XP 150s, which I bought last year. There's a review of them on my channel. And at the end of that review, I said I kind of liked them. Um, changing the gobos was a mission. Um, but what I really wanted to see was something that had a high LED output that wasn't that Equinox, but wasn't just a plain regular moving head either. And it's almost like someone in France saw the review, knuckled down, and then they've come out with this because it's it's not a plain moving head that just has one beam. 
um, and it's not something that doesn't move and just projects gobos. It, it has the lot, you know, you've got straight beams, you've got moving beams, and they even throw in a laser as well, um, which is perfect for my needs. Um, so at the moment, I'm sort of ranking these 9.7 out of 10. Um, and the only reason they don't get a 10 is because I haven't actually tested them at a gig yet. Um, and so if anything, I will get to use them. Um, actually, my next gig is a UV party, so they won't get used then. But the weekend after, um, I'll, I'll use them. And if there's any problems, then I'll mention it in the comments of the video. But this awfully amazing. I mean, for £250, um, I just think this is a great product. You know, if they if they chucked them out for £350, if they chucked them out for £300, um, I'd probably feel that I'm paying exactly what, what, what they're worth but for 250 pound for what you get um, I think these are a real bargain so yeah that's pretty much my conclusion if you have any questions chuck them in the comments box um, and I will answer as best I can um, and um, if I get an opportunity and I work out how to um, I'll use them on a live gig um, and then try and add that clip to the YouTube video all right, my name's been DJ80. Thank you very much for watching. If you found it useful, please give me a like and a subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.